welcome back friends today in this video i will show you that how to arrange sample collection room or what are the basic things that we needed in our sample collection area first of all that we need is the syringes syringes should be disposable and should be open in front of patient to so that they also know that you are using new syringe and it depends on your need of sample either 3 ml or 5 ml then you need alcohol swab if alcohol swab not available you can use spirit then you need spot bandages to after sample collection you have to put spot bandage tourniquet you need then you need sterile cotton balls to discard the syringes you need sharp container and you need sample tubes uh, that later on i will explain you which sample tube for which test and uh, you need gloves uh, i try to use for each patient in new gloves and you need urine and stool containers and label the area where you are keeping your urine and stool container so that it is easy to find and minimize the time as you can see stool container is with uh, stick and uh, urine container is plain urine bottles you need a computer in your sample area if it is not mandatory and you need finger print, finger uh, checking if this also not mandatory if uh, this uh, is available it's good then you need a uh, journal waste dustbin and infected waste dustbin separately and one more thing you can see the difference of color of keys in infected waste the color of keys is yellow keys and in general waste the color of keys is um, black and this is the chair where we the patient will sit and we will take the sample how to take sample i have already shown in my previous videos that you can search from uh, channel now i will show you the tubes basically in every sample area room we need edta tube edta either it will be sodium or potassium edta edta tubes are used for the cbc test complete blood cell count test and that is containing edta anticoagulants and this tube is for esr this is actually specific to machine and that but if uh, you are using manual esr that time also the cap color will be black only and it's containing anticoagulant sodium citrate so for esr we need black top tube and that is containing sodium citrate here it's written anticoagulant name sodium citrate but it was uh, very difficult to capture that name in camera but you remember that for uh, esr which anticoagulant is used that is sodium citrate 3.2% sodium citrate this is plain tube without any anticoagulant and this color of cap is red color and uh, next tube is that also clot activator tube difference is that there is a gel in the bottom when you will centrifuge the tube at that time serum will come and gel will come in between serum and cells one more thing you can see on that tube it's written name id test date so fill these all columns so that there will be no mistake of mixing of uh, sample with patient next is sodium citrate tube that is also 3.2% sodium citrate tube but this sodium citrate tube cover is blue top and that is used for coagulation profile as you can see it's indicated 2 ml blood we have to add in this tube for uh, anticoagulant tubes you have to mix the blood in the when you and put the blood in that tubes you have to mix 6 to 8 times before processing so this is the table where we are keeping our all required items that are needed for sample collection now you can get idea if you are going to arrange your room for sample collection you can get idea that what are the basic items need in sample collection room thank you so much i will meet you with new video as soon as possible thank you so much take care